G'day guys, we thought we'd just do a quick video to show you the EFL Design selfie wings that we added as a bit of a last minute prop uh, to our Halloween display this year. Uh, this was a half day build to get out for our display before Halloween so it was a bit rough and ready and I probably should say this is not how you build a prop. So what is it? Um, these are a Coro wings, they're fairly large. Um, as I said from Airfield Designs, also available in Australia from Troy from Extreme Lighting Displays. Um, they're approximately 1.5 metres tall and they're about 600 millimetres wide. Now the idea for these is that you have them as part of your display and people coming along to, to have a look can you know, get a picture you know, or a selfie in front of it. Um, if you position it in your display, you can normally you know, get your display in the background, which gives some pretty cool shots. What we found is they were super popular this year with kids, um, parents you know, getting a photo in front of them um, you know, for that bit of a memory from when they've come to look at your display. Uh, some other basic specs, they're 500 pixels per wing, so they're a you know, fairly heavy, high density prop. Um, they do weigh a little bit. Uh, we'll show you our super dodgy mounting design on the back. Now, as I said, this was a super dodgy build. Uh, we will try and improve on it. Um, essentially how we're driving it as we wanted this to be portable so that we could you know, put out as front of our display. Um, we actually mounted it on a, a bit of a cart. You can see the red cart there. I suppose we should have painted it black. And how we're driving this is actually off a 12 volt car battery in this little box below, which we'll show you some more details in a minute uh, with a Raspberry Pi and a Pi hat. Um, and it's just running a generic uh, butterfly effect from X lights on this one we are going to spend a little bit more time now between now and Christmas to make some cool effects but um, got to give an excuse it was a last minute build so we'll show you the back of it um, and how we've wired up you can probably vaguely see a couple of little meters on there we're going to show you some um, current draws which is another little interesting effect a little bit later on of the pixels so as you can see from the rear of the selfie wings, we've come up with a super dodgy mounting system. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but hey, it works. Some other people have made some really cool uh, mounting solutions and you're probably better off to um, find them out, but hey, it was a quick build. So what we've got is some aluminium angle going across horizontally, which is simply cable tied to the top of the uh, little hand cart so we can wheel it around and then we've got just a couple of vertical braces on the back to help support because these wings come as two part might be a bit tricky to see but there's like a jigsaw uh, coro where it interlinks with some little cable tie holes which seem to hold okay but it just needs that little bit of a extra vertical support if it's out in the wind. As I said, we was only positioning these out in front of our display when it was on. Um, so our mounting solution didn't have to be like for a permanent uh, solution. And if we'll probably just try and rock this forward. So you can see we've got a, this is the back. We just made a quick timber box to mount a 12 volt car battery in. Um, and we could, and that also gives a little bit of weight on the bottom of the hand cart. Um, so when you know, the kids were jumping up and down on the little step there. Um, stopped it from rocking back so much. Uh, we will try and give you a bit more of a close up of how we've mounted um, these, but they're essentially just bolted through with a little conduit standoff. I'll give you a bit of a close up. So as you can see, we've utilized, we've used this method for quite a few of our Coro props where we mount. Here's a piece of equal angle aluminium. You could use a bit of channel as well just what we had. Uh, we have a, a bit of a, a standoff to you know, get the flat side for this way that we've mounted it away from the back of the pixels and simply just bolt it through. As you can see, we have just a, a bolt with a big flat washer. Now we will paint these white so that they blend in and probably remount it all together. So yeah, so we've just got um, just simply cable tie with some fairly heavy duty cable ties onto the top of our hand cart which is on some wheels so we can obviously you know, wheel it around and then we had our timber box at the base which we will 
uh, mount our battery in and our little pixel controller. We'll talk about that in the next part of the video. So this is more of our little timber box that we mounted um, on the base of the hand cut for the wings. Uh, it was whipped up in about 15 minutes. We haven't even painted it. Scrap bits of ply. Uh, it was about uh, 20 mil ply, so it was fairly thick. Uh, it seemed to support you know, enough for the kids to jump up. And also they gave, you know, with the 12 volt car battery in the base, a bit of a weight you know, to stop it rocking back. Now, as I said, we're using some 12 volt um, pixels on this. Um, we're running a set of 12 volt battery it's, and a Raspberry Pi with a Pi hat because uh, we do want to sequence these when we put them out as part of our Christmas display. Not to the display, but we just want to highlight some of the individual feathers a little bit better instead of the generic butterfly effect. Now, we're running 500 pixels per output of this little Pi hat. Now, this is not the way to do it. We're just being dodgy. Interesting fact though, we're running these at about 30% of these pixels. Uh, it was just a butterfly effect. And just for our, we were sort of curious because we thought, oh, that's going to you know, be way too much current draw for a single output, which, you know, fused about five amps. As you can see from our little generic um, current draw tester here, which we use for all our props, um, we're running about 1.5 amps for each. So this is 1.5 amps for these 500 pixels. We tested on that one as well. Uh, this is just a little voltmeter. And that's on the last of the strings. He said it's down to six volts. Now, we did test it on white and there's a bit of discoloration towards the end of the strand, but for a butterfly or um, effect, it should be okay. We're not saying to do this. This is not the way to build it. This was just how we build it. Um, we have found that some of these new 12 volt pixels, which are being uh, supplied by some of the vendors are a bit of a more of a, um, a lower current draw um, So it helps a little bit with these higher density props now We should have power injected it simple as that but we lost my build hooked it up We actually hooked up a couple hundred pixels check the current draws found you know, because we've used these pixels before thought it was fairly low um, <clears throat> so then we moved on now to hook the rest of the 500. Ah, uh, another quick detail. You can see this really cool uh, jigsaw type design, which they've incorporated, which helps you know give it a little bit more support. Uh, so we only needed that one vertical support. You can see those other bolts where we've been bolted through. So just going on about current drawers, um, everyone asks about you know, how they go for white. I said, this is not the way to do it. This was a super dodgy quick build. We're happy with what we've done. Do your own testing. Do not follow this as advice. So we're running these at 30% brightness. We've got white selected if, through our um, Falcon player, because uh, it's part of a pie hat. Um, there's some discoloration towards the end of the, the pixels, just a little bit of pinkish. You can sort of see it actually shows up worse in the video, um, just for curiosity for current draw for status on white, it's pulling two, just over two amps, 2.1 amps. As you can see, we're hooked still into the you know, our last pixel of the strand of 500 pixels, and that's below four volts. I'm quite surprised these pixels are working. Now these are resistor pixels, they're not regulated pixels. Sorry, I didn't put that at the start. Um, do your own tests. Don't do this on your normal props. It's not the recommended way to do it. Uh, as I said, we're running this at 30% brightness, which we found adequate. Um, this is just like a standalone prop. Um, it's not a permanent installation of our display. We was just a quick dodgy build. We should just power inject it, really, and that would um, sort all that. All right, we'll go back to showing you the control box. So this is the box that you saw at the top, at the bottom of the um, selfie wings. Um, there was our 12 volt battery which sat on here. Here's the top. Um, this is some 20 mil ply and some old form ply that we had. So this was literally 
build in the afternoon to get out and just play that night. Um, we've got how it's working is we have 12 volt coming off our battery. We decided to actually feed it through a regulator that we had. Um, this was a 40 amp regulator way over the top that was needed um, just to try and give a, a cleaner um, 12 volts to our Raspberry Pi and to our Pixels. I don't know if it was needed. Um, I was running off a car battery, seeing that it wasn't accepting any charge into it. It was 12.5 volts. Um, what we found, you know, coming out after the regulator was a nice solid 12.1 volts. So, yeah, that's got power going into the... No, that's a Raspberry Pi with a Pi hat. Um, that's running Falcon Player or FPP. Um, and then we just configured, you know, the 500 count string. So we have it for each output. So it was running, like left wing off one, the right wing off the other. And we just had a you know, schedule to you know, play all the time. Nothing fancy in that respect. Now this was just a little CG, 1500 bucks. Um, we just actually had it pulled apart. We're putting it back together to show you. Uh, we did have the, the wires all coming out and a few other cable ties and stuff, just to tidy it up. Um, the reason why we use this is, hey, we had it. You could have used a smaller box or anything like that. It was more just to keep fingers out. So this was not the, a permanent um, part of our display, we are going to pull it apart and, and fix it up and put a bit of black paint on it and make it a little bit better for Christmas. Uh, if you're just not interested in you know, running um, actual effects through X lights uh, for your selfie wings and you just wanted to run you know, a generic butterfly effect or you know, colour them up or anything like that, not a butterfly but just you know, have them and doing some colour, you could probably get away with one of these little <clears throat> um, generic pixel testers, you know, one for each um, left and right wing, or one, or run one, and I think these can do like over a thousand pixels. Um, but you definitely need some power injection because these got they're very, you know, very thin uh, wires on them. Um, yeah, so that might be another option which would you know, make it a lot easier to connect. Um, you could probably even come up with a smaller power supply um, as part of it. We found them to be, uh, another quick look at the back, we found them to be very popular as part of our display. Um, lots of kids getting photos. You can sort of see the, the, the cart, hand cart without the box on it. This is held on with a strap. Very popular. Lots of kids getting photos on them. So it was a really nice little interactive part. Um, of our display. So they're the TFL wings. Rail also in Australia from Extreme Lighting Displays. See you guys.